Tama Shanta, a tale. When Chapman Billy's lay the street, and Druthy neighbours, neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy, and getting foo and unca happy, we think na when the lang Scot smiles, the mosses water slaps and styles, the lie atween us and her hame, or sit sour sulky, sullen dame, gathering her bruise like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth, fandonist Tamashanter, is he fra air a nick did canter, all there, wham near a toon surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. Ah, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise, as ta nine ain wife, Kate's advice, she told thee weel thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that fae November to October, a market day thou was na sober, that ilk a melder wi the miller, thou sacked as lang as thou had siller, that every nag was cod a shoe on, the smith and thee get roaring foo on, and at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, Thou drank wi curtain jean till Monday. She prophesied that later soon thou would be fun deep drowned and doon, or catched wi warlocks in the murk by Alois, old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsel sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband for the wife despises. But to our tale. A merkit nicht, Tam had get planted, uncorrect. Fast by an ingle, blazing finely, with reaming swats that drank divinely. And at his elbow, suitor Johnny, his ancient, trusty, druthy crony, Tam, lewed him like a very brother. They had been foo for weeks together. The nicht drave on with sangs and clatter, and I the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with secret favours, sweet and precious. The suitor told these queerest stories, the landlord's laugh, ha ha, was ready chorus. The storm, without mick rare and rustle, Tam, didn't mind the storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man so happy, even drunk himself among the nappy. As bees flee hame, we lades a treasure, the minutes swing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, or all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white, then melts for ever. Or like the Borealis race, it flit ere you can point its place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time nor tide, the hour approaches, Tam on ride, that hour an ex black arch the key stain, that dreary hour Tam mounts his beast in, and sick an echt tax the road in, as near peer sinner was a brodin. The wind blew as twas blown its last, the rattling showers rose in the blast. The speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That nicht a child might on her stone, the deal had business on his horn. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam scalp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, while hodden fast his gid blue bonnet, while crooning o'er an old Scot sonnet, whiles glowering rune with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawn nigh, where ghosts and hulas nickly cry. But this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snow the chapman smoored, and past the birks and meekle stain, where drucken Charlie brack's neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters fun the murder bairn, and near the thorn a bim the wall, where Mungo's mother hanged herself. Before him, Doon pours all his floods, the Dublin storm rolled through the woods, the lightning flashed from pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll when glimmering through the groaning trees, 
Kirk Alloway seemed in a blaze. Through elk aboard the beams were glancing, loud, resounded, mirth and dancing, inspiring bold John Barleycorn. What dangers thou can make us scorn? We tippany, we fear no evil, we uscobay, we'll face the devil. The swatsy reamed in Tammy's noddle, fair play, he cared na deals a bodle. As Maggie stood, Rick sair astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the licht, and vow! Tam saw an uncasicht, warlocks and witches in a dance, nae cotillion brent new from France, but hunt pipes, jigs, spies and reels, but life and metal in their heels. A Winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick, in shape a beast, a towsy tyke, black, grim and large. To give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them skirl till roof and rafters all did diddle. Coffins stood run like open presses that showed the deed in their last dresses and by some devilish cantrip slicht, each in its cold horn held a licht by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the haley table a murderer's banes and gibbet urns. Twa a span lying we on crescent bairns, a thief knew cut it for a rape with his gasp, his gab did gape. Five tomahawks with blood reed roosted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a feather's throat had mangled, with his ain son of life bereft, with the grey hairs yet, stack to the heft, we made a horrible an offer, which even to name, would be unlawful. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious, the piper lewd and lewder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew, they reeled, they set, they crossed, they cleek it, to ilk a carl and swat and reek it, and cussed her duddies to the wark, and link it at it in her sark. No Tam, oh Tam, had they been queens, all oh, plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks instead of creche flannin, been snow white seventeen hunter linen, their breeks o' mine, my only pair, that yens were plush a good blue hair, had a gin them off my herdies, for a blink of the bonny birdies, but withered bell dams, old and droll, rig widdy hags would spin a foal, loupin and fliggin on a crummock. It's a wonder, didn't they turn thy stomach? But Tam Kent, what was what foo brawly? There was ye winsome wench and wally, that nicht enlisted in the core, lang after Kent on Carrick shore. For many a beast did she shot, and perished many a bony boat, and shook baith meekle corn and beer, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark of paisley harn, that whilst a lassie she had worn, in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vanty. Ah, little ken thy reverent granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, with twa pun scots, twas all her riches, would ever a graced a dance o' witches. But hear my muse, her wing mon cure, sick flicks are far beyond her power, to sing how nanny lap and flang, a soup old jade she was and strang, and how Tam stood like yin bewitched, he thought his very een enriched. Even Satan glowered and fidged foo fain and hoached and blew wi micht and main, to first he caper, tine another, Tam tint his reason o' the gither and roars out, Well done, cutty sark! And in an instant, Always dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees buzz out wi angry fike, when plundering herds assail their bike, as open pussies mortal foes, when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs, the witches follow, 
when many an eldrick screech and hollow, Atam, Atam, they'll get thy fearin', in hell they'll roast you like a heron, and vain thy Kate awaits thy comin', Kate soon will be a wolf a woman. Now do thy speedy up, Miss Meg, and win the keystain o' the brig, there at them thou thy tail may toss, the running stream they dare na cross, but ere the keystain she could mack, a faint a tail she had to shack, for nanny, far afore all the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew it, Tam, with furious ettle, but little was she Maggie's mettle, a spring broke off her Mr. Hale, but left the in her ain grey tail, the carlin clocked her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, what this tale of truth shall read, Ilk man and mother son, tak heed, When er to drink, you're inclined, Or cutty sarks run in your mind. Think, you may buy the joys our dear, Remember, Tam O'Shanter's mare.